All right, so we're all done fishing. Um, caught a real good fish today, but caught a bunch of fish too. A bunch of different baits. But right now, we're gonna talk about my kayak and some of the rigging that we've done in the off season. Um, a lot of this stuff is similar to what it was last year, but there are some new additions. The first is, we're just gonna flip it around. Hummingbird Mega Live. That transducer setup was done by Trey Leach. The pole looking down view. And then it's running up to a Hummingbird Solix 10. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten a higher mount and I and I may still do that rather than put the bracket directly onto the bar because it is it's low and far away so I may change that but what's really cool and I think what I'm most excited about is the Hummingbird Mega 360 so this obviously looks very custom done um, that was done by Trey Leach as well. He basically set it up to where it's very similar to like a Torquedo mount. Um, and then the transducer is down underneath the bottom edge of the kayak. But it's pretty cool the way it's set up. All the wiring is kind of hidden up underneath of these tracks and they run the whole length up to where they come out I don't know if you can see that they come out there and then they're zip tied across and then they run into the back of the unit all in all I'm pretty happy with the way it's set up and really looking forward to getting out there with the Hummingbird 360 this year and finding that very important structure finding those spots where maybe other people aren't going to be able to see because they're only running side imaging and they're sitting still. Um, I'm hoping that it helps me put some pieces of the puzzle together this year. So we're showing the bottom structure here. If you can see that right there, that's, that's a bridge pier over to my left. That's a bridge pier over to my right. This is the corner of a bridge pier up in front of me. And this is the corner of a bridge pier to the right of me. So to kind of give you an idea, that's the left bridge pier, bridge pier, bridge pier, bridge pier. So it's showing me basically everything that I need to see directly in front of me and a little bit off to the side, which is really nice. Um, having that type of technology for the river really makes it where you can kind of pinpoint your cast um, towards towards structure, towards, you know, whatever covers down there. Um, makes it really nice. All right, so you're seeing right now, it's basically shoreline beside me. There is a, a bridge pier over here, but this is real shallow. So that's the bridge pier directly over here. Um, what's in front of you is you're actually looking at some shrub brush. That's what these are right here. Um, and then this right here is the other bridge pier that is right over here. So you get a clear view of what's in front of you here. Um, you know, showing you exactly what's there, which is really cool. And I really, I like the 360 for that reason. Um, more so than... I feel like my 360 might be off a little bit. I might need to turn it back to the left. Um, but I like the 360 a little bit better for, you know, the, the kayak versus, you know, your side imaging. I, I would prefer to have 360 imaging over side imaging, in my opinion. Yeah, so that's the bridge pier to the right and the bridge pier to the left. I'm going to sit still for a second and see if it kind of, well, the wind's going to dictate that, but I'm going to sit as still as I can 
and see if it kind of starts showing a little bit more what's there. Um, and I, I haven't really tweaked the settings with this a whole lot. I'm just, I'm still in the process of learning it, to be honest with you. <coughs> yeah, so there's the bridge pier on the right. Let me put this back on me alive. So that's the bridge beer right there coming into frame. Now that one's a little bit more difficult because of the because the bridge beer was there. Um, that's a fish, right? You can tell that that's 100% fish. Um, so if we were to... There's the spinner bait right there at 20. I'm gonna drop it down there to see if those are actually fish and they're not. Probably just rocks. Sometimes if they get real close to the bottom there, you don't have that target separation if they're really on the bottom. So that's the opposite bridge pier across from me. Doesn't look like there's anything in land in there in between. So we are directly between two bridge piers. Let's see what see what Mega 360 comes up with. We'll throw the anchor down so we stop and we're stationary. Alright, so that's the bridge beer to our left. And this is a rather rocky bottom right here in between these two bridge piers. So it's gonna show that pretty significantly. Um, the bridge pier to the right is gonna be right there. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, you know. I enjoy I enjoy it so far. I think it's gonna help me with finding stuff, especially on bigger water, um, narrowing stuff down, you know, pinpoint, finding where the structure's at, pinpoint casts to that structure. Um, you know, that's gonna be a really cool aspect. So side imaging, it's going to come up and say side imaging mode, confirm, Mega360 preparing pod. Okay, so now the pod's prepared and we're going to cruise up here and, and do side imaging of, of what's here. And it's mega side imaging, so it's, you know... Those are the ledges there to the right of us.
see, this is the the part about when you stop with with the mega side imaging, everything kind of gets elongated and blown out versus that high definition. Those are red, those are rock ledges. And these are still rock ledges, but now they're blown out and elongated. So if I switch that back and I go to 360, preparing 360 mode confirm, it immediately starts picking up, immediately starts picking up um, the surrounding areas and will tell me, you know, what's here and what's not. So and those that's those rock ledges there. So I had to lighten up that last clip and do some editing because of the glare. Um, I apologize for my dirty screen. I fish. I go out and I fish. So my kayak is never clean. My graph is never going to be clean unless it gets to the point where I just can't see it myself. Um, that's when I'll probably clean it. But um, I did have to edit a little bit there at that, that last clip to show the side imaging because it wasn't showing up. But... The moral of the story is, um, you know, I, I, I got the forward facing sonar on the kayak, but it is almost 100% not for the river. That's going to be something more along the lines of the lakes and the upper bay and other places that I fish um, in the tournaments and stuff. Um, but the mega 360 imaging in higher water. Um, as well as, you know, sometimes throughout the year when you're fishing some of the deeper holes and stuff like that, it's certainly going to be, uh, something that, that I use. Um, but whenever I start primarily fishing the river, like June through August, I will more than likely remove all of the graphs and the, um, and the, the transducers because I just won't need them. It's going to be more, you know, anybody that fishes the river knows that fishing the river is about reading current and doing that kind of stuff. I highly doubt that I will use the, the electronics um, basically after June until the fall, really. Um, once the fall comes, then I'll, I'll put them back on because that's when I'll start fishing more lakes and stuff and that kind of thing. So... Um, and fishing, uh, wintering holes on the river that, that will be helpful. So, but yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this. If you have any questions about the setup, please put them in the comments. Um, and I get you the answer or put you in touch with somebody who knows the answer. So again, thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys on the water.